after this unification of all the things, we will have a nationwide campaign to go to the districts, to the villages, and call to the people that this is the party whom you can trust. This is the party of the poor, the party of the nationalist forces, the party of change. Fighting for justice, fighting for justice and liberation, and liberation. We are the communists, we are the communists, mighty, mighty communists, mighty, mighty communists. Fighting for justice, fighting for justice and liberation. Welcome to People's Dispatch. We're here with Madhav Kumar Nepal, the former Prime Minister of Nepal and a senior leader of the Communist Party of Nepal. How are you doing? Yes, very good. So it's been one year since the unification process has started between the two communist parties. Um, we were wondering if you could tell us a little bit about this process, an evaluation of how it's been, the challenges. Yeah, you know that the communist movement in Nepal is very popular. It has strong ties with the people. Even though there may be many parties here, several different parties may exist here, but they all are propagating Marxism, Leninism. And among all these parties, two parties emerged as the strongest one. One is, one has been the Communist Party of Nepal unified Marxist Leninist. And another is Communist Party of Nepal Maoist Center. And this party, the UEML, has its own long political background. At the same time, this Maoist Center has their own historical background. We realized in 1990s that there is a need to move to the peaceful path of revolution. Depending on the people's awareness, unity and mobilization. And Maoist party have to go through one decade of armed revolution. Since 1996, 2006. But in the process, we both come together during the struggle against autocratic monarchy. We both realized that without the unity among the left and democratic forces, we cannot win. That's why there was a need to bring the Maoist party who were in the power from the cities. It means mountains, jungles, remote areas, and they were launching armed revolution. So what we have done is to persuade them or make, to make them realize that with the joint force of the parties and the people, the unity of the people and the mobilized people will be stronger. It can challenge the monarchical forces and throw away. And for this, there was need to bring them into the peace process, to the mainstream of politics. And we took the initiative, I myself, from the Communist Party of Nepal, Unified Marxist, took the initiative to bring them into the peace process and persuaded other democratic forces as well. It means uh, democratic means liberal bourgeoisie forces to work with us and together with the Maoists fight against the monarchical forces because the monarchy, autocratic monarchy, has served the power into its own hand and arrested us, and the activities of the parties were controlled. That's why there was need to overthrow the monarchy and, and for that we thought that a new constitution has to be drafted and, and for the constitution there is need to have a constituent assembly. 
So, the election for the assembly was the demand of the Maoist party and people's democracy was also the demand of the left parties. Whereas, democratic right was the demand of the bourgeoisie parties. We combined all together for the right of the people for bringing back the sovereignty into the hand of the people. So, we united, we fought together later on, both of us realized after the, during the election period, after the promulgation of the constitution, during all this period we worked together in the government, in the constitutional assembly, in the framing of the constitution, in the parliamentary committees or constitutional committees and then both of us realized that these two parties must have to come together, get united and fight the election, the parliamentary election together. So, during the election to the local bodies, we were separate, fought against each other. Despite that, we got together almost 55 percent of the total local seat in the municipalities and the village councils. Whereas during the central and provincial election, central and provincial election, we come together, we, we thought that we need to be together, so fought the election together, not bringing the party into one single entity. But our electoral candidate were selected by both of us and we got almost two-thirds of the majority in the central election, it means federal unit parliament and in the provincial level out of the seven provinces here in Nepal, we have comfortable almost two-thirds majority in the six provinces. Even in the seventh means province number two, we are the largest party in the, in the provincial assembly. So, all this has inspired us to be together. So, we discussed about our, our political line, ideological political line and then we come to a conclusion that there is need to go towards the socialism of Nepalese characteristics. So, socialist orientation is our orientation and then the Madan Bhandari, the who was the ideologue of the communist movement of the UAML, his people's democracy, his multi-party people's democracy, his new idea was also taken positively. Whereas, the new democracy of the 21st century, that was the idea of the Maoist party. So, both has to be combined together and we have to create a new democracy, uh, thinking in mind to move towards the socialism. So, now in, in last year, today, the same day, only before, it was de declared that both these two major parties will be united and we united and make the party the name the Nepal Communist Party, NCP. And uh, we united the central committee composed of both the parties, central leaders, 241 and 200. At the same time, the standing committee, 45, number 45, 26 plus 19. And then the central secretariat, 9, where the number is 6 and 3. Because the UML has been the biggest one and the Maoist has been the second one, that sort of equation has been has been set and then uh, we have uh, in the process of unifying the party we have to unify all the central units mass organizations because because just unity among the uh, of the central committee of the party is not enough you have to think about other units as for example Politburo, then the central departments, then the central disciplinary commission, central electoral commission of the party, central editing commission of the party, 
central advisory councils and senior citizens council. So, these are the central units of the party. So, we are gradually uniting all these units and a few days before, few weeks before, you decl we declared that all the district level bodies will be united. So, we decided about who will be the chairman, who will be the secretary and that was been done. And what will the number of the district committee that was also been set and today all the mass organization almost all have been united today and then gradually we will do all these things within few weeks of time. So, the unity process is going on. Uh, we have been working together. Uh, uh, the only the thing is that it took long time. It was a, um, uh, it has not done good. Uh, actually, we should have done the things very fastly, but because of, you know, a busy schedule of the leaders in the government and outside, uh, it was delayed. And, and to finding the formula is not so easy. Talking about unity may be very easy thing, but while doing the job, it it has to counter many complications and the problems. So you have to keep in mind the psychology of the other side as well, and both of them must respect each other and know each other well, have the evaluation proper evaluation of each of the cadres. So what we are insisting on is that proper Organizational procedure must be followed. Organizational norms must be followed. Criteria must be set. Evaluation process should be very clear. And all of the cadre has to go through the screening process. So, what we have been doing is that after this unification of all the things, we will have a nationwide campaign to go to the districts to the villages and call to the people that this is the party whom you can trust. This is the party of the poor, the party of the nationalist forces, the party of change, the party who needs, gives attention to the problems of the people. And we have to be close to the people, integrate with the people and win the trust and confidence of the people. So that we are in the process. And we hope that in the coming few weeks, the other remaining tasks of the education will be completed. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us. That's all we have time for. And keep watching People's Dispatch. Yeah.